What's up guys? I'm your host MD for mdsrobotronics.in and uh, if you can see what's on the focus of my camera that's the Raspberry Pi. So that's a $35 credit card size computer lying on my table today and uh, this video is intended to show you the basic setup for using your Raspberry Pi. So I would run you through all the components that you would require to set up your own Raspberry Pi based computer at home and uh, explore the unlimited features and capabilities of this tiny little baby. So I got this board from Element 14 a couple of weeks back and if you have already seen the unboxing and the review video uh, you would have noticed I bought it from the Element 14 Indian group and uh, it's available at 2750 in uh, the Indian market if you are buying it from Element 14 and the price has been pretty much slashed by the RS uh, groups and uh, you can buy it from the RS distributors for about uh, 2400 so that's about 300 less than what you can uh, what you do get from Element 14 so let me just quickly start up with the basic components that you would require to set up your own uh, computer so that's the first thing and the main the most uh, important thing that you would require is the Raspberry Pi that uh, you're already seeing on my table and along with that you would need a HD, SDHC uh, memory card so the ones that you're seeing here so there are two lying on my table and I have uh, two different Linux versions already flashed to them and uh, I have uh, both of them ready and for for the steps for if for you for you to boot your own uh, operating system you would require one of these uh, memory cards so i suggest you buying a 4 gb hdhc uh, class 4 uh, memory card and uh, burn the hdhc with the image of the operating system that you would like to uh, use on your Raspberry Pi. So there are several sites out there which which gives you step by step uh, information on writing your own image. If not, you can directly do that from uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, Foundation, the official uh, website itself. Just go to the download section and you would see uh, the different images that's available for the Raspberry Pi. And you can follow the instructions and have your uh, uh, SDHC uh, flash uh, the SDHC memory card ready so the one that you're seeing here is a uh, uh, let me just uh, get you close to that and that's a Samsung SD SD uh, card with a micro SD uh, within it and uh, this is a SDHC uh, adapter so uh, I'm using a micro SD uh, to burn so there have been a lot of issues reported uh, if you are using micro SD but uh, this did work for me so I will be sticking to this uh, SDHC and uh, and that's about it and uh, the second uh, micro card my, I mean the second memory card that you're seeing here is a uh, SDHC 8GB class 4 uh, transcend memory card and uh, I have a different version of uh, Linux burnt on it I mean uh, a different operating system for the Raspberry Pi and I would show you uh, what uh, I, sh I definitely show you the contents uh, within these two and I also have a, a memory card I mean a pen drive here with me this is a AGB uh, SanDisk pen drive and uh, uh, I will be showing you the use of it in the later part of this video and uh, to power this board you would need a you would need an adapter and uh, the other end of the adapter should be a micro uh, USB uh, connect connection and uh, if you are if you're using uh, any Android smartphones or the latest smartphones you definitely end up having a similar cable so you you need to have uh, basically a USB uh, cable a USB data syncing cable with the micro SB uh, micro USB connectivity on one of the ends so this cable can be directly plugged to your PC or if you have any other USB power source a 5 volt power source you can definitely use with that and what I'm going to do is I have this charger for my Sony Ericsson phone which has a USB output and uh, the voltage rating of this uh, uh, charger is a 5 volt a DC output with a 850 milliamp so this will definitely do the job for my uh, Raspberry Pi so I would not be needing to buy another uh, powering uh, power adapter for my Raspberry Pi so I can use the existing uh, contents at home to uh, set up my uh, Raspberry Pi 
So you would need a similar power adapter. If you don't have an adapter, if you have just the cable, even that would do fine. If you can just plug uh, the end of the USB uh, to your PC. And uh, going forward, with respect to the display connectivity, to see what's happening, to, to see the UI of your uh, Raspberry Pi, you would need a display uh, device, a display output. So you would be connecting your Raspberry Pi to a display device, and uh, you would need. Uh, uh, there are two currently two different outputs that supported by Raspberry Pi. One is an HDMI output, and uh, the other one is a normal, the classic audio video output. So. So you can just plug in either of these, so you need to have either of these cables and uh, based on the cables you can connect your Raspberry Pi to your display device and it's also important to see what kind of a display device you have. So right now with me I have my Samsung LED TV which supports both HDMI and the audio video output. So if you don't have a TV with an HDMI input you can always go for the other RCA connector wherein you can use the audio video cable and you can simply plug in your uh, Raspberry Pi your TV, to your TV so that would make your uh, setup cost effective so you need not worry about uh, buying another TV which supports HDMI so you can just go ahead with whatever display devices you have and you can set, you can have your setup done so uh, that's the best part of uh, Raspberry Pi so the output is supported by most of the almost all the dis all the display devices that's available in the market so you need not really have to worry about buying a monitor for yourself and uh, moving forward I have a wireless keyboard and mouse so this uh, wireless keyboard and mouse has a uh, receiver USB receiver so this end of the USB receiver is connected to the Raspberry Pi and uh, the, the keyboard and the mouse are uh, battery powered so they won't be drawing any extra power from the Raspberry Pi only uh, the part drawn would be for uh, this uh, receiver which would be receiving signals from uh, the keyboard and the mouse this is an alternative that I have so you can always go and go ahead and use the normal wired uh, USB keyboard and USB mouse and that is always a welcome but I found this kit this wireless keyboard and mouse kit for about ten dollars in a local uh, local outlet so uh, if you can lay your hands on similar product or if you can buy a sim uh, Chinese uh, uh, wireless keyboard and mouse for a very cheap price so you can always go ahead and do that and that will give you a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, using the device as an alternative if you already have a wired keyboard and mouse you can always use that so you do not worry about uh, buying an external device and uh, that's about the components that you need so I really spoke a lot let me just uh, start with the basic setup and then we would go forward and see how the Raspberry Pi works okay guys let's begin our connections and uh, start set up this board and we'll see how uh, this board functions so first thing I have in my hand is the Raspberry Pi and uh, let me just run you through the different connections and uh, I'll, I'll show you where to connect what and later we can go ahead so the first thing that you need to connect is the power supply so that you see a small micro SD slot micro USB connectivity here and you can plug in the power adapter cable here and uh, the next thing that you have here is a HDMI output and you can plug your HDMI cable from the Raspberry Pi to, the, uh, to your TV or your display device and the other side you have a Ethernet port for now in this video I will not be showing you the connectivity of the Ethernet that will be take, well, that will be done for a later part of the video and uh, the other thing that you would need uh, that you have here is uh, two USB uh, connection ports so these are OTG ports so you can connect any and almost uh, any USB type of devices for which uh, uh, the drivers are supported by uh, the operating system that you would be using so basically we would be using a mouse and a keyboard for now which is supported by uh, this board and the other side you see a uh, uh, audio output that's a, that's a 3.5 mm output jack and uh, here we have the RCA connector so that's basically the audio video component uh, the audio uh, the video component so you'll be using a audio video cable and that uh, would be plugged uh, behind your TV and you will have uh, the setup complete so these are all the basic connections and uh, the rest of them I would not be showing you or I will not be talking about the rest of the connections that's available here 
uh, maybe I would be taking it forward for the rest uh, for the future videos for now we would do the basic setup so first thing that I would connect is uh, the operating system so we have the operating system burnt onto these memory cards and I would be adding the link below to see how uh, uh, how you can actually flash or burn the image onto your uh, micro SD cards or your SD cards so when you turn the board towards the bottom side you have a connector for placing your uh, SD cards and you notice this the slightly cut end of the adapter or of your adapter should be slit through there like that so if you if you can just see you have some pads here which should be which should get in contact which should get in touch with these uh, uh, bonding pads so you can just slide your memory card through there like that and uh, done so you would not be hearing any click uh, sound or any locking there is no locking mechanism so all that you need to do is just push it to its max so that you don't see any gap down here so that means your uh, your uh, adapter is well placed and uh, it's ready for use and next thing that I would plug in here would be my wireless uh, receiver so that goes in like that and I would not be connecting any USB uh, cabled uh, mouse or keyboards I would be using this receiver to communicate use my both uh, keyboard and mouse and uh, now that we have this setup the next thing that you would need is a display output so I would be connecting my HDMI cable down here to this HDMI output like that and the other end of this would be connected to the TV so I'll, since before I do that I will also show you what could be done so the TV that I have down here supports a 3.5 millimeter connect 3.5 3 mil jack connector behind so it doesn't have uh, three different components for uh, connecting a uh, cable which would have uh, uh, audio in and uh, similar pin on the other end with the audio out but it has a 3.5 mil jack which has uh, three different inputs so what I'm going to do is if you have a normal uh, TV without a HDMI connectivity you can use a similar cable so you can just plug in the video component down there and the other end of the cable which should look which should be similar to this but uh, which should be a yellow cable yellow connector on the other end as well to your TV so that's how you do it for, for in my case I need to plug in the yellow cable here and the other end goes into my uh, TV so when you're connecting it through the RCA you would not be getting the audio out because this is just the video component so if you want an audio out what you need to do is if you have some external speakers you can plug it down here so you can also use a headphone in case you don't want to use speakers so you can just plug in your headphones uh, down in this uh, 3.5 mil jack and you can uh, get the audio as well so I will not be using this cable for now probably in another video I will show you how you can connect it to a uh, display with I mean this a device which doesn't have a HDMI uh, input so for now we'll stick to this uh, cable and uh, let me just plug this uh, cable to the TV so now we need to connect the other end of the HDMI output to our Raspberry Pi and there we go uh, we have uh, the HDMI cable also connected and we have the Raspberry Pi ready to be used and the only thing that's remaining right now is, uh, is the power supply for this board and I will be just uh, doing that so just earlier I spoke to you about the cable so this is a USB to micro USB cable so I need to plug the micro USB end of the cable to the Raspberry Pi connector so I need to plug it down like that and there, there you see you have the power cable also connected uh, sad thing about the Raspberry Pi is that there is no onboard uh, power on or off switch so what we need to do is uh, make sure we connect the power supply only at the end of uh, only, only after connecting all the other components now I will be plugging this uh, USB connector to uh, the power adapter or my uh, phone charger and you should see uh, the board power up and start running so there you see you would see some lights blink LEDs blinking here 
which would have uh, one would be the power and one would say OK. So let me just quickly select uh, the HDMI source. And uh, there you see the Raspberry Pi is booting now. So the current operating system on this Raspberry Pi is the Raspbian, uh, Raspbian version, I mean the Debian version of the operating system which is compiled for Raspberry Pi and the, the operating system is called uh, Raspbian. So this operating system does come with a UI that's a LDX launcher or LXD launcher I don't really remember the name of that so let me just uh, show you how to start with the Raspberry Pi so I have my mouse and keyboard so let me just show you how this actually works so you see when I use my wireless mouse <coughs> excuse me for that and I can move around on my screen so this UI definitely looks beautiful and it's rich and you don't see uh, pixelated output from the Raspberry Pi so that's a great thing and, and this is a, a UI based uh, application for you to program or uh, for you to create your own games so this is basically for kids to play around and you also have a Debian reference so I guess this is a library package wherein you can go about and uh, see the help and also you have a LX terminal so which would take you to the uh, terminal and uh, the shell prompt uh, which is similar to the DOS prompt on your Windows operating system machine so you can run them and you can run your uh, commands there so uh, that is what uh, is about this so 